Here we go, here we go. Now I know what you're thinking, and no, Rocky's not making a comeback, but it is time to grab a protein shake, throw on some gym gear, and warm up those muscles, because it's time for the world's first ever 30 minute challenge. Let's do it. I'm excited. G'day folks, my name's Uncle Knackers and you're watching DIY for Knuckleheads. Am I still wearing that hat? That can go. Whoops. Now what I plan to do with the 30 minute challenge is to do a number of simple projects that anybody can do over the weekend and in under 30 minutes. I sound like Jamie Oliver. And to prove it, I've got my 30 minute challenge stopwatch to keep me honest. Let's do it. As you can see, there's 30 minutes on the clock and your time starts now. Let's go. Alrighty, the first cab off the rank is going to be this super simple coat rack made from an old piece of fascia board and these ultra cool vintage wire hooks, which I absolutely L-O-V-E love. Let's do it. Now the first thing we need to do is to cut that round edge off our fascia board, which is normally about 25 millimeters or an inch wide. To rip your fascia board down, you can either use your table saw And don't worry if you don't have a table saw, you can still just use your trusty old circular saw with a circular saw guide. Too easy. All right, the fascia board has now been ripped down and we have an edge, but we also need another edge so that these can wrap around the coat rack. So you'll need to cut two lengths of fascia board to get the two edges. Right, next step, cut our coat rack to length. Mine's going to be 1120 millimeters, which is a bee's leg over 44 inches. So let's head over to the drop saw and do that now. So far we have the coat rack cut to length and also the two sides cut they're going to be attached to the coat rack but before we go any further let's check that time okay I'll stop the clock and it looks like we've been going for about seven minutes all right we're on track let's keep going The next thing we need to do is to cut these edge strips to length. So to simply line them up to the edge of your coat rack, put a mark on it with enough room so you can cut a 45 degree angle. So do it to both pieces. Head over to the drop saw and get those cut. Now with the two side pieces done, grab the off cut and then just line that up with one of the edges and mark the other side. And do the same for the other end. Take it over to the saw, 
kind of 45 and you're done. But before that, let's check out the time. So far, so good. We're looking good, people. 10 minutes, we're on track. Let's go. All those edge pieces have now been cut and now it's just simply a matter of gluing and nailing them in place. And for that, I'm just using my trusty old nail gun with a 38 millimeter or inch and a half galvanized nail. Let's go. And that's the coat rack basically done. Now all we need to do is give it a sand, a paint job, and then put on those beautiful vintage wire hooks. Now let's check that time out. All right, let's stop the clock. And we are on almost 19 minutes. Ooh, time's getting tight. Can we do it? Let's keep going. Okay, I've stopped the clock at 21 minutes just to explain what we're doing next. Whew, I tell you what, it's gonna be tight. Okay, the coat rack has now been sanded and it's now ready for the finish and also to screw on our vintage wire coat hooks. The plan of attack is to mark out where all of these coat hooks are going to go, screw the holes, take the brackets off, give it a paint job, and then screw these back on and hopefully we'll sneak in under that 30 minutes. Let's give it a go. these off so we can apply that clear finish. Whew, we're going down to the wire. We've got three and a half minutes left and we still have to apply one coat of that hard wax oil and then put all those coat hooks back on. Like I said before, it's going to be tight. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, come on, quick, 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 quick. Ah! Quick. Okay, tools down, stop the clock. Okay, stop the clock. And what did we finish up with? Oh, 29 minutes and roughly 25 seconds. Oh piece of cake, still had 35 seconds up my sleeve. Too easy. Oh, that's a closey. So that's it folks, what do you reckon? My first ever 30 minute challenge. I think it turned out okay. Great tip, knackers. Well, I hope you enjoyed and found useful the first ever 30 minute minute challenge. I had a great time doing it, even though at the end it got a bit tight. And it's amazing what you can do in under 30 minutes if you have everything ready beforehand. Alrighty, as per usual, a big thumbs up 
is greatly appreciated. And if this is your first time to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future 30 minute challenges or any other project for that matter. And if by some chance you'd like to pick up some of these vintage wire hooks and you live in Australia, I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. So make sure you check that out. Alrighty, I need a cup of tea and this needs to go up on a wall. So till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,